today's date is May 14, 1967. I am currently 84 years old. I am making this recording in hopes of telling you the story of my life. I was born in Nyack on July 22, 1882, in New York. I lived my entire childhood in a small town on the banks of the River Hudson. I decided to focus small and adapt my style to the American daily life. I mean, why not? Ever since I saw my parents working, cleaning the house, or just standing or sitting around, I thought that there was some kind of art hidden in such daily routines. In 1918, I tried two new styles, the itching style and the water coral style. It was quite productive. I was able to paint many landscapes and people in those styles, but I never gave up on oil. I still painted in that style, just not very often. In 1924, she handled everything in my career. I made her my main model. She was my partner in life. I will continue to create art in my personal style for four more decades. Two on the ISO, sold for a personal record. In 1929, I produced Chop Suey and Real Road Sunset. The following year, House by the Real Road, I painted my last oil self-portrait around 1930. By 1929, the spark of misery in America exploded with a Great Depression like no other seen before. Many people were dying every day. I felt the need to capture the loneliness that everyone felt. They started to call me the painter of loneliness. You know, I think I was very productive in the 30s and the early 40s, producing many important works such as New York movie, early show, Night Hawks, Hotel Lobby, Morning in the City, and in the early 60s, I created several major works, including First Row Okra Star, as well as Morning Sun, and Hotel by the Real World, all in 1952. I live my life always believing in the lessons I learned, and I will die happy, knowing that I did everything I set out to do. This is Edward Hopper, saying goodbye, and thank you.